You already know what it is. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Pretty bad. They found out about Hunter's taxes. Or lack thereof? Quiet, you. Yeah, aren't you the one that boasted about not paying your taxes? I was saying I know how to manipulate the tax code because I'm a genius. Just like we all do. Evidently, some do it better than others. You just worry about your own legal troubles there, Chief. What have you been up to, Barack? I've just been getting all my holiday shopping done. Oh shit, I forgot about the holidays. Uh, we literally just did a Thanksgiving video. That was like two weeks ago. The extent of your memory, huh? Fuck off, now I gotta think of gifts for everyone. Would a tier list help you out? A Christmas gift tier list? That sounds great. Maybe if you're eight years old. Come now, Donald. Don't be an orange-tinted Grinch. Yeah, you fucking citrus Scrooge. I have more Christmas spirit than both of you combined. Always talking about happy holidays and not happy birthday Jesus. All holidays should be celebrated, no matter what religion you practice. Christmas is clearly the best, and everybody agrees with me. He's got a point, Barack. He is the only one of us that could be Santa Claus. Well, you're old enough to look like Santa, but kids aren't allowed on your lap. Facts. All right, let's feed the capitalist machine. Oh my fucking God, the jingles. Hey, you wanted to be festive. I like it. Christmas jingles unlock memories I can only access at this time of year. It's good that so many doctors are studying your brain. They're probably learning a lot. I am an asset to humanity. I wouldn't go that far. So should we start with stocking ideas and work our way up? Sounds good, I'm busting out the eggnog. Stocking stuffers are great. I love digging into them before the big gifts. I too enjoy the size restriction of the stocking. You can also get away with some stuff that's more mundane, but great to restock on before the new year. Anything come to mind first? What about a nice pair of socks? Literally anything in the world, and you choose socks first? Definitely fits the description of a stocking stuffer. Mid. Oh, come on, you don't wear socks? Of course I wear fucking socks, I just think they're mid for a gift. Why, I love when the girls get me funny socks every year. That's even worse. You usually get a good laugh out of your $20 pair of socks, but now you've tasked them with keeping said pair of socks together for eternity. Fucking impossible. That's a fair point. I only get to wear them a few times before they're separated. What about some nice warm fuzzy socks? Kind of falls in the same trap as the goofy socks, except you can't even wear a different sock out of desperation unless you want one sweaty foot. I guess everyone does have a few brands and colors that they use most of the time. If you know someone's brand, then that's where you can nail a sock gift, but then you may as well buy in bulk, therefore no longer being a stocking stuffer. It makes me actually angry when you make sense. Why do you think all the politicians hate me? I think it's the hair. C tier it is. How about some personal care items starting with deodorant? I can get down with a nice smelly stick. Not something you brag to your buddies about. It is essential though. So is toilet paper, but you're not putting that in your stocking. Toilet paper isn't a personal item, Dumpy. Whatever, I still think this is F tier. That's too low for the fighter of B.O. Donnie hates deodorant and is stinky. Coincidence? I think not. I just don't use it around you because I know you're gonna smell me. Gross, but where does it go? I don't put it higher than socks, to be honest, but I love sniffing it. D tier it is. That's kind of low, but I guess. How about a nice soap or body wash? Ooh, back-to-back -back sniffers. Kind of depends on if it's for a dude or a chick. Well, there are thousands of gift ideas, so why don't we stick to what everyone can enjoy? Typical liberal pushing gender neutral ideologies. We can do another list for him and for her. Who doesn't enjoy a nice soap to start the new year? It can be a pretty good gift or stocking stuffer. Melania gets me some nice body wash every year. I think she's telling you something. Suck my peppermint stick. I do like a nice artisan bar of soap though, for real. Better not drop that bar of soap with Michelle around. Barack's butthole is probably institutionalized by now. Where do we put soap, you smart asses? Not a high tier gift, but not bad. Solid B tier. I'll agree with that. Anything else on our minds? I'll tell you what, at my house, we all get each other ornaments as stocking stuffers. That's a creative and festive tradition. I know, right? I'll give you that one, Joe. Might start doing it with the fam myself. Let me show you the one I got last year. You're gonna love this. Ha 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 ha! Laugh it up, I got this one for my tree. Christ, that's gotta be racist. He's staring into my soul. Right? I love it, but it's not better than this one. That actually just fucking scared me. Make him go away! <laughs> my only gripe with ornaments as stocking stuffers is that you only get to use the gift for a month out of the year. Plus, it can easily be half hidden or overshadowed by all the other ornaments. Guess so, but still endless options. I'm thinking another B tier. Uh, good for me. Nice. What about keychains? Meh. Pretty cool, nothing crazy. Oh, come on. Keychains are like the ornaments of your keys. Yeah, but I have like 30 cars and helicopters and yachts and shit. There's so many goddamn keys, I wouldn't be seeing it much. I feel that, but I do have keychains on some for a quick ID. That's fucking right. I got a chain on every key. There's no way you should be allowed to drive. 
That should be considered abuse of power. Bitch, I'll drive the Corvette down to your mom's house for some sloppy toppy. Yikes. All right, I'm pretty low on them. C tier? Yep, mid like I said. What about candy, like chocolates or candy canes? I can get down with some chocolates or Hershey Kisses in my stocking. Yeah, I love loose truffles in there. Nothing wrong with that. Well, there's the fact that they may be forgotten and stay loose in your stocking for months after. I love that shit, like Christmas in July. It's also a consumable gift, so people aren't gonna appreciate it for long after they eat it. Still good, not great, another B tier. I'd be at A tier for the candy canes. <laughs> we can go B tier with it. Candy canes are fun to throw at the Christmas tree, though. Uh, what about snacks outside of candy? Like chips? That's not very festive, but I was talking more about like pretzels and holiday popcorn and shit. Pretty great, but tough to fit in a stocking, to be honest. You gotta go with the travel size snacks. Perfect for stuffing a stocking. I like snacks just as much as I like candy in my stocking, so I'd go B tier again. I'd be slightly higher than candy, since you can do healthy stuff like dried fruit. I was at A tier before, but now I'm on the fence because Barack brought his pussy into it. Did I mention beef jerky as another option? Okay, A tier is fine. Funny, it'd always be people looking like Donnie eating things called Slim Jims. Fuck off, enough of the food in my stocking. Well, how about something it seems like everyone needs at one point or another? A phone charger. That's true. There's nothing that has caused me more pain and anguish than trying to perfect the angle and position on a piece of shit phone charger just to wake up at 10%. Might be convenient if you're desperate, but I buy my chargers in bulk, so it's not gonna be that great for me. That part of your deal with the Chinese? Not the flashiest gift, but I guarantee you'll eventually use it, especially one that's like 10 feet long. Even so, still lame. Yeah, I'm definitely not dashing to the nearest outlet to try it out. Not the worst thing in the world, all things considered. D tier. No complaints here. Tough crowd for the chargers. What about a good toothbrush or new toothpaste? Ugh. I'm gonna be pretty low on this one too. Are you guys just not into dental health? Nah. It's because I already have the world's best toothbrush made mostly of gold with my name on it. Of course you do. I also only use a custom blend of toothpaste my dentist makes for me, he's the best. Donnie is the only guy I've ever met that has a dentist on his payroll. Well, at least I'm not getting root canals all the fucking time. He's got you there, Joe. For the sheer volume of ice cream you consume, you seem pretty unmotivated to keep up with your dental health. Sometimes I brush my teeth, sometimes I don't, JFK me. You're disturbing. There's no way Jill lets you kiss her. We smooch. Maybe on TV when she has to. Melania doesn't even stay in the same country as you if she doesn't have to. Reel it in, boys. What's the ranking? F tier, but I'm getting it anyway. I think D tier is more realistic. Okay, Donnie, I'll go with that. Got any more stocking ideas? I love a good high quality pen. I literally use one every day to sign my checks for millions of dollars. Imagine asking Santa for a pen. I think we can extend it to any office supplies. If the person you're buying gifts for works in an office, it's a must have. Sticky notes, Sharpies, highlighters, and even paper clips are very useful throughout the year. Plus, you can go that extra mile and personalize some stuff or buy supplies that are themed with something they like. I've retired from writing anything but signatures and one of my aides is my pen guy. Which one is your cocaine guy? Same guy, actually. Uh, I wouldn't say supplies are higher than anything in B tier. C tier then? Yeah, that's a good spot. How about my all-time favorite stocking gift, sunglasses? Why am I not surprised? Good one, Joe. A nice new pair of sunglasses fit so conveniently in the stocking. I'll always be happy with a new pair of Ray-Bans. I use them every day. You use them every day to look at the bodies of young women. Hey, they also block out the sun, multi-purpose. Kind of a weird gift in the middle of the winter, though. Does the sun not exist in the winter? Not as much, but I mainly rock the sunglasses on the beaches of Miami in summertime. Nah, man, it's 365 for the shades. So where do they rank? S tier. Nah, not bad though. B tier? I'm more inclined to agree with Donnie here. Oh, I'm gonna say a big gamer word. Chill out. I've had one pair of sunglasses for like three years now and they do the job. That's important to note. If the person already has their pair, they won't be needing another one for a while. Hey, Obama wanna know my favorite country in Africa? Don't you fucking dare. Niger. Racism at its finest. That might cost you the black vote. No way, bro, that shit's a lock. Whatever, what's next? Let's leave the stockings behind and get to the big gifts under the tree. One gift I get every year is some form of winter clothes. A coat, a hat, some gloves, anything to help me through the cold months. Maybe you should lighten up on the layers. The cold is probably helping to preserve you. He's not a mammoth in the Himalayas, Donnie. Either way, I'm not too high on winter clothes. I spend most of my time in the sun or on stage with all the lights on me. Through all the years I spent in Chicago, I have collected many winter clothes over the holidays. You'll always end up using warmer clothes if you live up north. 
You're not buying winter coats in Arizona, but we got new sets every year when I was growing up. They are S tier in places like Maine or Wisconsin, but across the board, I'd give it more like a B tier. Yeah, facts. I can settle with that. What about a nice hoodie? I don't wear hoodies. You don't really wear anything besides suits, to be honest. Yep, I wouldn't be surprised if your pajamas were business casual. You can make fun of me for dressing nicely all you want. Hoodies aren't about dressing nicely. It's about being comfortable and warm. And I'm pretty sure everyone likes hoodies except for you. I love a good funny hoodie too. You said it. Nothing I'd rather lounge around in than one of these bad boys. Perfect for anyone on the younger side. Oh yeah, the hoodlums need their uniforms. So where do we rank them? Solid A tier, versatile. Mid. A tier is good. What about the classic ugly Christmas sweater? Well, that's easy, it's F tier. I don't know, I really like ugly sweater parties. That's the entire fucking point. Everybody gets in a competition to see who has the most terrible piece of clothing possible. S tier event, but I'll have to agree. I've never worn a sweater outside of an ugly one at one of those parties. Maybe for us old guys, but they are a pretty good gift for a woman. The second it gets cold, my daughters start saying sweater weather repeatedly. Too bad we are ignoring women exist for this list, F tier. That's about right. Okay, what about another wintertime hitter, slippers? I love a good pair of slippers. Too bad they don't last long. Let me guess, you raw dog those grimy old toes in every pair of slippers for days on end until they smell like Satan's porta potty? Yeah, but what else am I supposed to do? Maybe wear socks before the slippers. Well, what's the point of the fucking slippers then? Donnie's right, if you want the slippers to last you out of wear socks. But if my toes aren't touching the fuzziness, I don't get hard. Bro, what? I think Joe's using slippers in a very different way. Nah, I'm playing blood, but wearing socks with slippers is like wearing a condom when you've had a vasectomy. Dude's riddled with STDs and his slippers smell like New Jersey. Where do we rank slippers for normal people? Pretty mid. You only really wear them when it's cold and you have a lot of time on your hands. Well, they are called slippers for a reason. I like to slip them on if I gotta go to the bathroom or get a snack real quick before going back to bed. There's no fucking way you got socks on coming from bed. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes I don't wear socks with the slippers because I'm not spending all day in them, I'm just popping them on. I'm calling bullshit. Don't act like your kitchen isn't a football field away in your mansion. Those slippers are probably as stanky as Joe's. Let's just say they only last about a year. Still capping. A year translates to until you don't need them anymore, which is like March or April. You think you know fucking everything, huh? I know slippers are mid and we have foot fungus among us. They do have a very limited lifespan, so that doesn't help. Are we now talking about reasons you shouldn't be president again? If you don't want me to run, then stop your campaign. Or better yet, just go to jail. Fine, slippers are mid, what next? Are we seriously out of fucking ideas? Give me a minute, holidays are stressful. Nah bro, best time of the year. Maybe for people like you with the GTA infinite money glitch, but the vast majority of folks are living paycheck to paycheck and get very stressed when they have a lot of people to buy gifts for. It's more about buying the right gift. I always have a very hard time finding the right thing for each person. I can't even think of a gift right now and it could be anything. How about gift cards? Oh yeah, perfect gift for if you want to tell someone you don't give a fuck about them. Depends how much money you put on it. Also depends what kind it is. Not all gift cards are created equal. I think it's a cop out no matter what. You throw all the thinking to the gift receiver and now they gotta shop at the place you picked. Not necessarily Amazon and Visa gift cards are like gold nowadays. Facts, at the end of the day, it's probably not a high tier gift, but not bad at all. Especially if the person you're buying the card for is asking for it or you know they'll definitely need it. I guess, but you're a piece of shit if you get someone a Sears gift card. Literally no one wants to go to Sears. Yeah, CVS or Walgreens gift cards blow too. Do we settle on B tier? Yeah, but there's another form of gift card that I want to mention and that's subscriptions. Nothing worse than gifting someone a payment every month when they forget about it. If it's a streaming service that isn't Netflix or HBO, then I don't want it. Disney Plus can die for what they've done to literally everything they own. And Paramount Plus can die for making that historically awful Halo series. Yeah, I'm not too happy with Amazon for Rings of Power either. The whole of Hollywood doesn't really deserve our support right now. Better to just turn to creators here on YouTube until something changes. Or not, I could really care less if the rich assholes in Hollywood go bankrupt from their own lack of creativity. True, that's not even a partisan opinion anymore. What about the loot boxes? You can't very well forget them when they show up at your house every month. Those things are awesome if you're a collector of completely useless garbage and t-shirts. That trend died long ago. The only one that's still really going strong is BarkBox. Commander loves his BarkBox. It's the only thing standing between him and the terrified Secret Service guys. Just because BarkBox or Netflix works doesn't mean loot boxes or subscriptions are any better as a gift. 
Correct. I think they both land collectively in D tier. I'm with you. Part of their whole thing is that you forget they're charging you every month when you don't even use the service. Speaking of BarkBox, what about gifts for your pets? Pet gifts are solid for any animal lover. Especially when your dog rips through plastic like Donnie goes through a Big Mac. Toys for dogs and cats are fun, but other accessories can be even better. Leashes, collars, and treats are all good options. The only downside to pet gifts is sometimes you get the sizes wrong, or maybe they just rip the toy you bought apart the same night. They don't know any better. They still deserve toys. Agreed. I think it's an easy A tier. If you disagree, I can unleash the presidential attack dog. I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's cover the actual pets as gifts now. There's nothing quite like adding a member to the family on Christmas. You said it, Brobama. I love the looks on all the family's faces when they see a new puppy or kitten on Christmas morning. Absolutely priceless. The only downsides to this gift is the responsibility of care and maintenance costs, but the pros far exceed the cons. Even other pets like fish or reptiles can be a hit with the right person, especially the kids. Be sure to check out our aquarium tier list. It was a hit with folks. We'll be releasing the reptile tier list soon enough, as well as a sequel to the aquarium video. Any type of pet can be S tier. Easy S tier. Even if you bought me a fish for Christmas, I would personally be overjoyed. I think if you don't rank puppies in S tier, you haven't spent enough time with puppies. What do we do now? It's gonna be tough to follow puppies. How about a nice book? Here we fucking go. Brock, this is a time to get excited and books are boring as fuck. That's Cap. A good book to the right person can be a very thoughtful gift. F tier, just go to the library if you really want to be a nerd. He's got a point. I'm not wasting my precious time reading a fucking book. Bullshit. You're gonna tell me that you don't have a favorite book that you read around the holidays? I guess Dr. Seuss is a goat for Christmas time. For that alone, I can see books in D tier. I can't support that. Best you can do for a bookworm is buy a subscription to some audiobook thing, but I think that'll fall under subscriptions anyway. I guess I'll take it. The true legends know what books to give the readers in their lives. If you want someone to have a good time reading, the better option is to give someone a board game. Bro, last time I played Monopoly, I almost lost my whole family. Maybe don't get shitty board games like Monopoly and Sorry and play some real games like Risk or Axis and Allies. Doesn't surprise me that you only like war games. At least I'm not playing them in real life with proxy forces. I'm told we're winning, though. I enjoy Warhammer as a more complex and intuitive experience. There's a lot of online gaming options with it as well, if you want to try it first. That game is for Chads. I'm so down to try it out. Let us know if you want to see a Warhammer video from us in the future. As far as board games, I think it's a little hit or miss. You firstly need the person to be into that kind of game, and then you are hoping they actually have friends or family that also want to play. That can be kind of tough in this new age Discord era. Yeah, board games have been pretty dead since COVID, but if you can get a group together, it's tremendous. I'm going to say C tier. The gift is most likely going to collect dust. I'm with you. I suppose I've got other hills to die on. Cool. Puzzles? Are you kidding me? Weak! I would hate to be your kid on Christmas. You've never sat down with the fam and tried to complete a 1,000 piece puzzle? Yeah, but it's the most boring thing ever. I prefer puzzles with fewer pieces. Like 500 piece puzzles? Maybe like 100. That way you can finish in like 20 minutes. There's absolutely no point unless you're challenging yourself and your family to build a giant puzzle that covers the entire dinner table. After all that work, you get a few brief moments of satisfaction before you're wondering what the fuck you're gonna do with it now. That is an awkward part of puzzle building. How long do you keep your work together? Then once you finally decide to break the puzzle apart, you just know you're never gonna build it again. Never once have I tried to build the same puzzle twice. F tier. I agree, it's a mess and it's too complicated. Although I have fond memories of puzzles with the family, you can't escape the fact that there is no fun in rebuilding a puzzle again. F tier is fine. Let's move on to art. If it's not the art of the deal, then I don't want it. I thought you hated books. The Bible and the art of the deal don't count. I'm talking about the shit you put on your wall. Careful, Obama, you might turn me on with that wall talk. Shut up. I want to say that I have a good taste in art, but I have no idea what the fuck is good or not. Don't blame yourself this time, Joe. Nowadays, you can let a turd tumble across a canvas and it might end up in a museum. Uh, I don't think so. We aren't here to discuss art theory either. Is it a good gift? I don't think you can rank it without discussing different tastes in art. Imagine getting someone an expensive piece of art just for them to leave it in a closet somewhere because it's not their style. Whenever someone gets Jill art, I'm not thinking, oh, what a great piece that is. I'm actually thinking, oh God, where the fuck is she gonna put that?
I can see where you're coming from, but I only buy art for people if I know they would love it. It might be very niche, but art can be a smash hit. I will admit, I have bought art for people before, but it was more of a flex for how much money I got. It sounds like it's going to be somewhere between S tier and F tier. That's generally how this works, yeah. It makes a big difference if the person giving the art is also the artist themselves. There's just too many variables. Just put it in C tier since it could go either way. Seems fair. If art didn't have the ridiculous price tag, I'd certainly be higher on it. Well, if you're balling on a budget, there's one surefire way to get a lot of gifts for people and not spend a lot of money, baked goods. You're on point this time, Joe. Homemade goodies will never be a bad gift. Even jolly old Kris Kringle loves fresh baked cookies. Christmas time brownies, cookies, and pies are universally loved. If you truly make the effort to strap on the apron and whip up something yummy, it'll be worthwhile. Me personally, I love the Brookies. If you bring something cool like a Brookie or anything Christmas themed, you'll be a crowd favorite. Even a fruitcake can be pretty good. Oh my fucking God, why did you have to say that? I forgot those things existed, and now it's gonna drag all the other baked goods down to hell. Why does fruitcake smell nice, but not taste nice? It's the gross ass canned fruit. You can definitely make it good. I think we should separate fruitcake as its own entity and rank baked goods in S tier. What kind of drugs they got you on? You're making way too much sense. Gotta mix the right amount of uppers and downers. I'm right in the pocket, baby. Looks like I can't redeem fruitcake alone. Let me know if you're with the fruitcake or nah. All right, enough goodies and games. We all know that electronics rule this holiday. Facts, especially when it comes to these new generations of kids, they won't be happy unless their eyes are glued to a screen for every waking moment of their day. Sad, but true. Well, we know what we're getting into with gadgets. As long as they use it, it'll be one of their favorite gifts of the holiday guaranteed. Why don't we do rapid fire with the tech? Good for me. Take it away, Donnie. All right, let's start with TVs and monitors. Flat screens can be great gifts. They are very inexpensive and usually last a long time. Really one of the only things that have remained cheap in Biden's economy. Simple supply and command. Most of these newer TVs are smart too. I'm thinking they miss S tier just because they are so widely available. Still a valuable A tier though. I can get down with that. Good, how about phones and tablets? Easy S tier. I love the feeling of a phone upgrade on Christmas. Both phones and tablets have a real instant impact on anybody. It's hard not to say S tier. Especially for the younger folks, it's one of the better gifts you can get, and it's pretty much a guarantee that they'll use it a lot unless they had a better one than what you got, in which case you're an idiot. Solid S tier. Now laptops and computers. Even better than a phone in most cases. A computer is simultaneously the best gaming device and potentially a way to advance your career or create another stream of income. Even buying parts to upgrade your computer is big this time of year. No doubt this is another S tier. Clearly the best thing you can get that doesn't cost more than a couple grand, S tier. What about gaming consoles? This one's a bit more interesting. If it were 10 years ago, I would say it's an easy S tier, but consoles are slowly being phased out and replaced solely by gaming computers. Xbox and PlayStation aren't what they used to be. That's true. There aren't really standalone titles to get excited for outside of Nintendo Switch. Switch is pretty cool. I love Super Smash Bros and Zelda. Same, but consoles have definitely taken a step down. They are still relevant because you still need them to play certain games and even provide a way to watch movies on TVs that are not so smart. I'm down with A tier, Joe. Good to go. Smart watches? I kind of like them, but I don't really wear mine much. I'm all set on those, not my style. They look tacky to me. So did the fucking White House. I like mine because it tracks your heart rate and sleep for health stuff. That's why I got one for Joe. I like mine because it feels like you're Ben 10. I never trusted the fact that Apple gets data on your bodily functions. Yeah, it's kind of creepy when my watch knows what time I jack off. At the end of the day, you do need to actually want a smart watch or it's a shitty gift. Thinking D tier? I was. I could even go F tier, but sure. What about earphones? A good set of AirPods or other Bluetooth earphones are pretty sweet. The one huge problem is you usually don't know if the person already has Bluetooth headphones that they are satisfied with unless you ask them, in turn ruining the surprise. I don't like them. They don't fit in my ears. That's because you have old man ears. They are a must have for me since I need them to go hard in the gym. I guess they're pretty hit or miss. C tier? Yeah, that's good. How about Bluetooth speakers? Pretty much the same as headphones, except there's way fewer scenarios where you want a speaker rather than headphones. You really only want them for cookouts and casual gatherings like that. Good for a pool party, not much else. Pretty good gift for high schoolers. You shouldn't give them to teenagers. They're just gonna blast shitty music to the point where the cops chase them. 
Worse than the headphones, D tier. I'll agree with that. Sure, how about these smart home devices like Alexa and shit? I like talking to robots. I don't want to get all tinfoil hat and start sounding like RFK Jr., but I don't like Jeff Bezos listening to my conversations. I'm completely with you, Barack. You just know he's hearing you fuck. I did not consider that. Yeah, bugging your loved ones is pretty whack. F tier. Phones cover everything these things do and don't listen to us. I wouldn't be so sure about that. FBI gets right into that shit. Regardless, I don't need another source for you guys to spy on me. F tier. The last common electronic I can think of are kitchen appliances. You're right about that. Air fryers are selling like hotcakes. Food processors, blenders, crockpots. There are so many good options to add to someone's kitchen. As long as they use it, you can't go wrong. You can't always tell if someone will actually use an appliance or not. That's true, but if you know the person, you'll know what they eat and you can make a good guess from there. Another A tier in my mind. I was thinking the same. That's facts. Are we done with electronics? Yeah, what should we do next? I think we stay on kitchen stuff and do pots and pans. For sure, I love a nice new skillet. Cast iron is peak. Don't act like you actually cook anymore. I've been getting back into it ever since, uh... Ever since what, Barack? Never mind. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hard to find a new cook, huh? It's not hard to go fuck yourself, Donnie. Anyway, pots and pans are a great gift for the peasants who cook. You could even go all out and get a Dutch oven. It's a little tough to ace a cookware gift, but it's even tougher to get one they never use. So like A tier? I was thinking more like B tier. B tier is fine. What about knives and utensils? I get a lot less excited for utensils. I don't know how many fucking spatulas I've collected over the years. I feel like the general grievous of grilling. Newsflash, everybody. A man only needs like two spatulas max anymore, and you're just filling up a drawer. Same thing with knives. One set lasts years if you just sharpen them. D tier for being the default dad gift. That's fucking right. Baron really needs to watch this list, man. Maybe he just doesn't give a fuck about you. And what did Hunter get you last year, Joe? Drugs, Chinese money? All those plus a lovely bottle of scotch. I had some, it was fucking smooth. Yeah, alcohol is generally not a bad gift, but you don't want to give it to certain individuals. You definitely shouldn't be buying a 40 for a teenager, but gifting a tasteful bottle of wine to a couple is a layup. You gotta know the person's tastes, but bottles don't stay undrunk for long on New Year's, so it's convenient. If it's whiskey, it's S tier. I think we can say A tier. There's room for error if you get the wrong drink or if they use it extremely irresponsibly. I don't consider drunk driving a felony. Depends if you're good at it, A tier. Uh, no! Please normalize fighting your drunk family for their keys. I would, but Jill hits hard and I don't want the smoke. So you guys are both catching fades from your wives? That's tough. Yeah, weed is a much better option during the holidays. It's becoming legal in a lot of states now too. Anybody who likes weed usually really fucking likes weed if you catch my drift. Definitely. You can't miss on a weed gift if that's their thing. Isn't that right, Barack? Oh, it's practically weed miss for me every year. Christmas edibles hit different. You can still get fucked up, but you don't have the same downsides as alcohol. I think weed can be S tier. Weed is the first Christmas gift to us by Jesus, the camel, and the three wandering guys. Uh, dude, when's the last time you went to church? It's been a few years, but that's pretty much the story. Not quite. Anything else on the list? We still haven't covered my ace in the whole the best Christmas gift is definitely a car. How can you beat a brand new car with a big ass bow on it? When you got the money to give someone a car, there's nothing to complain about. No way I'm not bumping tunes in the new whip on Christmas. As long as it's not a minivan, I'd be pretty stoked. An electric car would also be good on the environment. Holy shit, nobody cares. Obamacare? Everyone else can have a Prius as long as I keep my Corvette. The key is to get a truck and don't feel bad, fake news. Either way, a car is rarely a miss S tier for sure. True that. All right, we done here? Yeah, that's all I have for this one. Before we wrap up, I think we should exchange gifts here on Discord. I had Elon send you both a package that should be landing now. I'll do the same for you, Donnie. Warp speed shipping is the best. I have a card landing for you as well. All right, y'all ready? I'll go first. It's huge, what could it be? Yeah, thanks, Don, I love it. I knew you would. What did you get, Joe? A brand new bike. Oh my fucking God. Enjoy that, buddy. Me next. This one's from you, Barack. Nice, thanks, bro. I fucking love Brookies. Now that's what I'm talking about. Brookies are goaded. I'll pop this card open from Joe. Expectations are not very high, I'll be honest. Prepare to be surprised. A $50 gift card to McDonald's? Thanks, man. No problem, pal. I was almost sure you were gonna complain about that. Nah, I'm pretty hungry. I don't mind it. Now open yours from me. All right, here I go. Donald, you fucking smug prick. Ha ha ha, what is it? It's a goddamn drone. 
I'm sure you remember how to use one, just like riding a bicycle. Am I right, Joe? You said it, buddy. I'm going to go take this thing for a spin. And I'm going to follow him with the drone so I know where to send the ambulance. You're no fun. Well, that's all we have for today. Be sure to like and comment if you want to see a sequel for this one. Happy holidays, folks. Merry Christmas to all and stay safe out there. Bye, guys.